Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Corporate Gamer Broadcast. I am your host, Corporate Gamer, and tonight we will be continuing with Lake. Have been streaming in a while. Um, it's been over a week, over a lot, uh, two weeks. Uh, not quite two weeks, but uh, I, it's almost been two weeks that I haven't streamed. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue with Lake, and uh, yeah, I just want to chill on a Friday night and unwind playing Lake, which is a very laid-back game. Thank the Lord for that. Dooby dooby doo. Mm -hmm. Shooby dooby doo, booty boop, beady boop, shooby dooby doo. I don't remember where I am in this game. I don't remember. I don't know how much I'm going to be talking tonight because I'm tired as shit, but I wanted to stream. So. Yeah, oh, by the way, I did get a copyright um, hit on my game because of, uh, talk to Robert in the forest. Okay, I forgot the fight. There we go. So I need to do two stops. Where am I? I'm here. One oh five West first. Okay. I wish I was in this town today. I would really like to be in this town right now. Ooh, interesting. It's a freaking letter. What's interesting? Why can't I pinpoint this place? Oh, jeez. Hey, Meredith. I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. 
Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Uh, okay, so here, really, what a shame. Ah, uh, okay. So, what now? Well, I want you to listen to my wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. To do a tree version of We Earth the World? Get out of here! Are we gonna do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. That sounds great. I'll be... Cindy Lauper. Well, 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 let us realize All that a change can only come Oh, yes. But no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Okay, well, yeah, probably better that way. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds Barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day, so let's start giving. Not much better, let me tell you. But, hey, it is what it is. Why is there no more zoom? I can't place a... Can I fast travel here? I can autopilot here. So might, as well, might as well do that. <clears throat> Watch me lead me to the river. We're going to be taking the scene at route. Hope that you guys have had a good week. This week was long, I have to admit. It was, uh, it was a good week, but it was a, a long week. Oh, there goes the truck.
leave it on the doorstep. That's not exactly a door. This is the door. But apparently you can't go up the stairs. Oh, because they're broken. Well then. The fuck? What the hell was that? <laughs> Uh... Okay. Oh, it's most liner. I don't know why I leave the radio on in my car. Wait, where's the package? In your ass. I just want a cup of coffee. Fuck the package. What are the chances that um, there's a big drug ring in this uh, in this town? That's where like they find the body of Jimmy Hoffa. What are the chances? Uh, Hi, Kay. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Oh, man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. I know, you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh, man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. So I guess I'm going to the recording session after I drop off the truck. So you've been fighting demons. Why can't I fast travel? It's so stupid, the fast traveling in this game. It makes no sense, you know, it makes uh, no sense, no 
sense. Must be fucking awesome though, waking up to this small town with the mountains in the back. Like I know that we, ha um, my my um, sister-in-law, she has like family in, or they know she knows somebody in Banff, and apparently it's exactly like this. Like you walk out in the backyard, and there's a beautiful scene of a uh, of the mountains. Cutscene. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I guess it's, this is okay. Um, fellow province Okians, really? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay. You might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm going to return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? I better get going. Good luck with those taters. Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Sure. Uh, but I'll leave the lovebird squabbing over to you. Sure, I'll come along. But I'll leave the lovebird squabbling to you too. Right. Let's go then. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. We are the world. We are the children. Meredith, it's oh, me. Fuck, oh, Steve. Hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. All right. Here we go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Mr. Morning. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right, but where is Frank now? Frank is not here. But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. Okay. Okay. 
Why does it say return to the post office? Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Pio, positive report. That's key. Today's contribution is from Matt Turney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake was a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. Let's see what the weather will bring today. We're starting the day with showers, but the sun... ...sun might come back in the end. Enjoy the music. What's this? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. here. No, nope, that's 209. 105 must be the one right before. Ah, well.
That's lighter than I thought. Well, the box isn't exactly big. Ah, there's the mail. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Well, that's a... a weird bald spot, but okay. To each their own. Well, you took a weird way of getting there. Hmm, these look like bills. Yes, little missy. Thank you for the insight. Go to Lake Road. Uh. No one's gonna answer. Nope, no answer. These people, like they, they, they get the package delivered. Back then, getting packages delivered, all the letters wasn't a big thing. Mail order things, unless you had those um, free 100 CD things from Columbia House. Mail carrier Meredith. Hello, Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. 
As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Rag's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. Let's just autopilot that shit. You're reckless on the road, little missy. It's true. If it said that her the delivery was for the other girl's house, your address on it was over here. That didn't make sense, actually. Anyways. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people. I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, ash, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town all know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Well, actually, Robert set it up himself, at Jack's. Did he now? And how would you know about that, hon? Sorry. Uh, because it was studio when he was recording it. Because I was at the studio when he was recording it. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? No, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway. I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. <laughs> Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good! I already had you down on my list, of course. But it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. 
Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. Whiplash. I never do. Whiplash. Oh man. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith. It's not that bad. You're just jealous. <laughs> Actually, I am. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. And never ends. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Well, that's quite a big step. Life changing and all that. Awesome. I'm so happy for you. Isn't it something? And it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks? <laughs> no thanks. I need to get back to my normal life soon. Well, just thought I'd mention it. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, uh, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Yeah, I'm going to take over the family business. Uh, I'm not sure I want to deliver mail to a small town. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's the night. Memories, memories, memories of you. Memories. Oh, Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, That's Mary? what she said. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We we need to celebrate this moment. I, I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. That's why you're following him all the way to Canada? 
And that's why you're following him all the way to Canada? It's also that he needs me. He would get into trouble without me. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse delivering meal. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. The man? What man? So, you guys are sticking it to the man, eh? Hell yeah. Can't stand the man. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. Mm, I know what you mean, feeling like a prisoner of society. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? Oh. There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? Sure. What do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Wine. Wine, please. Gotcha. Be right back. Awkward silence. Memories. Memories. Oh, dear Lord. Memories. Of you. Oh, I thought I had a bad voice. And me. Memories. Alrighty. Here you go. This is the life. It sure is. It will be even better once we're finally in Canada. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy But these guys are in Providence Oaks, so isn't that an East Coast? And then we're good. They're what? They're, go they're hey, going to Quebec? I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey. Can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really, guys? That's awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you. Memories. All right, Thursday, September 11th. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. P.O. Positive report. That's it. The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. All right. One. Apparently, I can't walk past the pole. Here's your mail. You didn't make a comment. 
about how it's interesting or okay It's on this guy. Oh, it's this guy. I didn't think there was a mailbox there. Talk about a game that you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Holy I mean, fuck, man. There could be a bit more variety. Like, I know people praise this game for its laid back attitude. Like, it's being laid back, but. You keep doing the same thing over and over again. I'm pretty sure if I didn't stream this, I probably would have I've stopped playing this game already. can never fucking do it. I don't understand why. Like, it, the game is so weird. Like, sometimes you can fast travel. Like, you could fast travel at these points, but any other points that are in between, you can't do that. Like this one, why can't I put a, a waypoint? There's zero reason why I shouldn't be able to do it. step like I thought for there would have been a little bit more interaction from that perspective as well I mean the game itself is whatever uh, which way should I go should go here I guess
Nice view though. Hope that everyone had a great weekend. Oh, great weekend. Great week. And we're ready for the weekend. I know here they're announcing uh, Scorcher. Expecting more son from your more mail from your son? Are you expecting more mail from your son? It's just this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Okay, you live in a freaking town. Seriously. There's like 10 people there. Perhaps look after your, uh, perhaps I could look after your cats. Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Sure. No trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. I think I fucked myself over. Oh, I didn't have anything scheduled, actually. Alright. on wheels I have no idea where it came from but it's absolutely rad it's mine actually Mickey and June gave it to me you know that young couple down by the lake campground whoa really that's so tight here they left this note on the driver's seat oh let me read it life's a journey and not a destination just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride love M and J so what are you going to do with it you have to hit the road. I don't know what I want yet. I was hoping it could stay here for a while. You can tinker on it too. You know I'd love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. It can stay here for as long as you need. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while, I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the sea turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or 
the raccoon because it's got brown spots and is full of trash? Or the hermit shell? It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... The raccoon. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> okay. That was a weird conversation, but okay. See, like, I can't put a... Oh, anyways. That's so stupid. Now it's gonna autopilot there. Why can't it just fast travel? It's so stupid. It's just a waste of time. I think this game would be, like, an hour long if it wouldn't be for all the traveling. Because I think playtime is supposed to be, like, six... Six, six and a half hours. There's a few things that kind of are interesting, but other than that. Fuck, I have to go all around. Come on, you can do it. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Excuse me, sir? Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away! If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times! You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away! How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Sir, if you don't want to be disturbed, don't mail order anything. <laughs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, man. Oh, so now I have something you need. And you quite miraculously are capable of common courtesy. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here. And Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch and... Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Mm. All right. Now, where was I? 
She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says... Well, that was a useless interaction. Too bad I haven't seen the uh, the girl from the video store just left and that's sucky. I was hoping to start a relationship with her and it kind of started that way and then she just disappeared. Stop accelerating. Is there a speed limit? It's a fucking like town the size of my fist. No, oh, I'm almost home. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Good afternoon, Mr. Morgan. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Okay. We are being an asshole. Sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, sir, so you can't make it out, like, what the actual question is? Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R&I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. 
you're covered. <laughs> All right. See ya. Are they going to actually show me babysitting? I guess so. All right. Who wants s'mores? Well, that was a short thing. Hey, hey, hey. guess who's back? Frank? I didn't expect you here. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Well, I guess I can't blame him. Oh well, he'll never get his way here. Tell me more. How'd you get rid of him? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess he didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Sweet. That should keep him off our backs for a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. What odds can you give me? What odds can you give me? Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I better get back to work. Okay, no details. A very good morning, Providence Oaks. Hey, uh, the oh, that's key. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start fake coughing when I'm smoking in my store? Don't like it, just leave. <laughs> that is so such a 1980s thing to say. Four oh three. Oh, it's four oh one Main Street. Here's your mail. Oh, yeah, it's true. She delivers mail on the weekends. Which is always weird to me. That's 406. 402 is over here. I park way too far. Because the map is wonky at best. Well. Driving along the highway. Up up at that island. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. No problem, they were great. I appreciate the lie. <laughs> so, how was the concert? 
<laughs> oh yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my 1986, head. 1986, I think Steve Perry was still with them. Mm, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. Oh, they're in Portland? Yeah. Still into music, huh? Still into music, huh? Oh, and <laughs> I haven't even mentioned Cyndi Lauper or Run DMC. Or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Choke's on you because I don't even know what that means. I would never. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love to Welcome to life. But right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone. But I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude, you are coming to the open mic, right? Oh, of course, wild horses can drag me away. Of course. That's great! Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. Haha. <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Bye now. <laughs> A dad joke in I'm not sure I have to watch Miltred's cats. I'm getting better. Look at that. Nice car. Like, I know this game isn't long, but it, like, honestly, the repetitiveness of it is... Especially the fact that when you deliver a package or you deliver... Half of the people are never home.
Nice mailbox. I knew this game wouldn't be very popular with streaming. Just cuz. Nice backdrop, though. Meredith. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada. Concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents well, you're of just the problem. that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Oh, great! So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's. Or something else. On me. Ah, oh, I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Yeah, I still gotta deliver a few things. At least if I'm gonna get copyrighted, could they at least put like different music, different songs on? <laughs> but also the, the, the music doesn't really reflect the time. Like in 1986, I guess country songs were popular, and I guess part of the, some of these songs fit, but the majority of the songs was New Wave. New Wave, Rock, all the songs sound the same. It doesn't give that 1986 vibe though. Well, this is definitely not Deus Ex, that's for sure.
I don't think I ever came by this area. Maybe I did. I just don't remember. Uh, this is the the guy with the uh, the fish. smallest box ever. I always leave the radio on in my truck. No matter when it is. It makes no sense. Um, hello? the matrix or hello ah the wax worms have arrived excuse me i meant the package miss weiss it's my worms for fishing they're just in time i'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon great have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Hmm. Um, I have to keep. I have to keep the cats, no? Not that I really care for the cats, honestly. Like, cats can stay by themselves. They're self-sufficient. Although at 4 p.m. though, it's September. It gets dark around, what, 6? No, we'll see how it goes. This game, you deliver mail on the weekends, so that means, except Sundays, so that means I have one, at least one more day. There's the karaoke on Sunday, and then technically my two weeks are over. I, from what I understand, they're gonna, the, the parents are gonna stay over, so that means I have to take over the, take over the, the business, which I don't want to do. That's nice. I miss fishing. I haven't fished in a long time. So, is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. Uh, 
And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Okay. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Okay. Well, that was a useless thing. I guess now I have to go to uh, take care of the cats. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Driving along the highway, headlights light up the signs. Thinking of what might have been, radio keeps track of time. That's rough, but. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Let me think. The my, my, my monster deal. Hmm. Let me think. The my, my, my monster deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company, and I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. This is a bit of a surprise. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. It's so weird, though. The mentality is so different from back in the 80s and, and 90s to now. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Kitty, kitty. Ow. <laughs> well then. A postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, awesome. Angie. That's actually pretty cool. Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a Theo Positive Report. That's 
Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds, and, and then he walked off into the woods. Apparently the only talk in the morning. There's no talk radio the rest of the day, which is not a bad thing. This one. Move to this one. There we go. It's when it's been a slow one on the Twitch verse uh, tonight. Then again, I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of people that are searching for who's playing Lake tonight. Quite a few things to go. Okay. See, like that one, I could put a waypoint. This one, I can't. Like, it, it makes. There's no consistency in this game. Like, it's so stupid. See, like, this song sounds like something you would hear in the 90s, not the 80s. This is adult contemporary from the 90s, not 1986. Right. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a traffic jam. Cause I fucking parked there. I need the fucking, I need the package. Main Street. Than I thought. See, apparently people don't know how to go around cars in this town. Work every day. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Uh. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. That's okay. I take pictures for myself not to win contests. Eh, you can probably only win contests like those if you're professional. I'd like to think that talented casual photographers also have a decent chance. Well, one can always dream.
Sorry I'm not talking much tonight. This game has bored the shit out of me. Here's your mail. Okay, I put a night rider move. Sir. As expected. Nobody ever answers nobody ever answers their like bills. I'm gonna get that RV fixed up. Hope that all of you have had a wonderful week, having a wonderful Friday, enjoying your favorite beverage of choice water, wine, beer, whiskey, whatever, scotch. I'm actually thinking if this is the most laid back game. I'm pretty sure it is.
Where the fuck is a mailbox? Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Although I have to admit it is true, back in the 80s, probably the ratio of Now the packages are about 50-50 if you include junk mail. We got the box. And fucking tastic. That's lighter than I thought. Yeah, let's see what Mr. Attitude has in store for me. If he's still here. It's the mail. I'm busy. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. Ooh, take it easy. It's just a game. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Mm, okay. Thank you. Oh, it's really coming down now. How to accept the characters here is too long. <laughs> yeah, this game is, uh, it's a little weird, I have to admit. Um, well, weird. It's not weird. It's very, it's not a streaming game. Let's put it that way. Yep, this literally. Death, uh, that's trending? Um, I don't know. Is it? If it is, it's on the PC side of things because it's not on the uh, it's not on the console side of things. Uh, I need to deliver this mail. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Marie, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, foe. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming yeah, open makes night sense. over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. Although I don't really have a big interest in playing that game, to be honest. Of fame, enjoy some well but. performances and usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. Maybe some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks, and I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. Twitch streaming before Twitch streaming was a thing. So, the game itself, I don't remember if you knew about this, but... So, basically, the, the premise of the game is I'm a computer programmer, scientist, or whatever, in 1986. And I go back to my hometown in Providence Oaks. Um, and... 
<laughs> no, I'm not Ricky Lake. I w <laughs> And um, the premise is, is that my parents went down to Florida for a vacation. And I'm delivering the mail, replacing my dad for like two weeks. However, it's come to my attention that apparently they want to stay down there in Florida. So I'm going to have probably the option of continuing the job or doing something completely different. And my job is a, uh, uh, my job essentially is a job that takes advantage of me. Uh, that no, you know, you're supposed to work all the hours of the day and stuff like that. And, uh, I'm probably going to have some choices at the end, like either, I stay in my hometown, deliver mail. Either I go back to my job or probably I'll do something completely different. There's also uh, my love interests vary between women and men, depending on, on who it is. So uh, there's a lumberjack from a male perspective. There is a video store clerk, which closed the store um, that apparently I have feelings for. And I think think there should be somebody else but I, I don't know the flirting in this game is weird by the way how did you like uh, shadow complex I saw you play the I never played the remastered version I just played the uh, the original version on 360 um, but I found that you you were having like more problems with the game that I remember with the original game like, I don't remember it being that, that difficult or that random. Oh, yeah, th th those are those are hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. It's pouring rain. There's lightning. But you're scared of... Okay. Uh, return to the post office. Yay. Also, this game has the worst fast travel of all time it is horrible so some of these places you can go directly and then sometimes it just says oh okay autopilot and it just drives instead of just getting there it's so stupid yeah Yeah, the remastered seem to have, have. I don't remember have it being it that buggy. I really don't. I loved it when I played it. Back, I think they came out in 2010. That was one of like my favorite games that year. And I discovered that game through broad, uh, broad sign, through uh, Xbox Live Arcade. And it was free at one point on Xbox Live with gold, and I. <laughs> That's hilarious. The only thing I didn't do with that game, though, I didn't 100 percent it, like finding all the secrets and stuff like that. I just didn't. I didn't do that. Like, this is like, why can't you just fast travel to go to the other, like, it's so weird. Alright, I'm at the post office. Alright, and apparently they'll deliver the mail on Saturday soon this town. White socks. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? <laughs> nope. Hold the line. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you that they still haven't found someone else for the job. 
So, I guess, you can have it, if you want. Thanks, Frank, but... Are you sure? It's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. Gonna run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. 1986. It's the New York Mets that won the World Series. With Gary Carter as their catcher. your time in the mail delivery business oh hi dad well don't take this personally but I'm glad it's almost over <laughs> no apologies necessary Meredith I'm glad you gave it a try yep and at least now I can finally put faces to your mailman war stories <laughs> I was hoping I could listen to one of those for <laughs> once oh hold on Meredith let me guess mom wants to talk to me Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but I was wondering, are you planning on going back to the city? Hi, Mom. I don't know. Sometimes I also feel like driving off in an RV and leaving my old life behind. You what? Have you been drinking? Has she been drinking? No, no, I haven't been drinking. That's a thing that people would do nowadays more than in 1986. 1986, if you had a job offer for a multi-million dollar company uh, with 20% stake in the actual company, yeah, people of chances would have taken it. Nowadays, people, I think, would, would be reluctant to take it. Uh, I think I just really feel like doing this. I made a decision a long time ago to not go back to my job. So I'm, I'm going with that. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I think I just feel like doing this. I don't know. I wouldn't, why wouldn't I do that? I'm sober as a judge. But I don't know. Is that really a saying? Why wouldn't I do that? Because I don't know. I know a lot of judges that are that like to drink. No, no, no. So, he wants me to take over the mail, but I, I don't want to. And I got a, a my, my, uh, my computer job, my programmer job, offered me 20% in the company plus a higher spike in pay and yada, yada, yada. But I also got an RV. So, we'll see. <laughs> How have times have changed? Uh, Mickey and June wanted me to have their RV. Well, this one night I was at a campfire with Mickey and June, and they wanted me to have their RV. Honey, I hope you understand that I'm really. Worried. Yeah, for sure. Let me talk. Although I have to admit. Let me guess. Dad wants to talk to me. After this scene. You're driving off in an RV? Did you get a mini Winnie? I'm not sure who manufactured it, Dad. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Uh, are you driving by yourself, or do you have a wingman? I really haven't made up my mind about any of this. It would be quite an adventure. You should drive over to us. A 3,000-mile trip of a lifetime. Oh, hang on. Your mom wants to talk to you. Honey, whatever you do, please promise me you'll be safe. And keep in touch with us. Pre-cell phone days. Don't worry about me. I'll stay in touch. Okay, dear. Right, both cards. Pictures of our new place here. So let me know your new address. Gotta go now. Running out of coins again. Okay, mom. I'll keep you updated. Bye. <laughs> I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having. Oh yeah. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around. Supposed to have dinner with this guy. I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... Wine? 
glass of wine. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! <laughs> Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Announce the weather for next <laughs> week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack? Really? <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to peckle him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost. Keep in mind, this is 1986. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely, and you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, <laughs> that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? <laughs> oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? Uh... Not really. I'm looking forward to going back to the big city. Ah, the big city. That's not for me. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith? Sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again. I'm just standing in the rain. What would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation? You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. Call me if you need help. Okay, that's awkward. All right, so All right, so to get back to your point so yeah, in most cases, both people would take in, would take the the uh, the money and you know sell the RV and so on and so forth. However, I'm 42, and if you would have asked me 20 years ago, I would have probably said that. Now that I'm in my 40s, I honestly would like to, I honestly would love to, just ride and not have to think about work. Um. And, and not to say that I wouldn't be working or I wouldn't do have any projects or I would stop programming or I would do whatever. No, I would still program, but I would do it for myself with no pressure, right? I just, I'm desensitized to like working for corporations 
Um, I worked for startups. I worked for corporations that were medium to big. I worked with huge corporations. And at the end of the day, you always feel like it, you, you feel a little bit more valued in a startup, but the startup is a lot riskier. And if you work at a corporation, you're just a, data, a number in a database. They don't care. Yeah, you might have people in the company that care about you, like, you know, coworkers and stuff. But in general, you're just a number in a database. So, like, that's why now, like, when, you know, changing jobs maybe 20 years ago, when I was younger, I would feel bad. Oh, uh, you know, I like the people I work with, yada, yada, yada. But now I, you know what, the only way to actually get to get... um anything that to get any pay raise honestly substantial pay raise you need to quit and apply somewhere else it sucks it's it's horrible but it is what it is actually can i can i actually no i can't save That email, because oh, it's a weekly diary. Generic typing noises commence. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So. I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own new car, right. <laughs> Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? It looks the same. <laughs> it literally looks the same. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced and he's staying the whole weekend but it's sunday pretty sure it's sunday oh that's wonderful news mm -hmm. all right well anyway take care dear now where did he park the car yes it's me matt kearney in an egg brace real funny huh I must admit it. It's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss to the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair. <laughs> now I'm here looking like a loser. <laughs> ah, boy. Ah, poor you. I hope you'll be okay soon. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. 
Guess who? Jack Burton? <laughs> Aw, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Oh, that's a real bummer. Even better, even thought who guessed. Even better, though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Not much. Jack just did some comedy. Well, mad that his Kearney condition is worth a mention. It's great and great so far. Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well, then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The raccoon is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. <laughs> and now I'm the proud owner of the raccoon. Wow, good for you. I don't know if you guys I remember. RV. I, don't, I don't know if it played in the States. It was called The Raccoons. I remember it played here on CBC. The National uh, National Network. Um, I know that it played at some parts of the States, but I don't think it played everywhere. Pretty happy with it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Cool. So, where are you going to take it? Wherever the open road takes me. Sounds good to me. A free spirit. The way Mickey and June intended. Can I come? <laughs> I've grown quite funny, you know. Well, you are a good kisser. You know, I think I'd rather be by myself for a while. Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm. There's plenty more where that came from. But... At some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Angie, wait. Dear people, none other than our own Kate. Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. By the way, everyone I in this town had horrible so sound. They sound they, their voices you, were honey. horrible. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Oh, she's better than she was last time. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. 
Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Ooh. Uh, that was amazing. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Exactly. Thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. It's a small town. They probably so drink for free anyways. Nervous, you know, like shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say... It's good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See ya, Kay. Thanks. For everything. Julie Newmar. That came out in the 90s, My right? Lovely people, yeah, that came out in the 90s. The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? I loved it. Jack was great. Good, good. Honestly, when Jack started telling those jokes, oh, I didn't know whether to suck him one or laugh out loud, you know? Oh, that man is something, all right. <laughs> and what about Kay, huh? She was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out. And maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods. Rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. 
That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. <laughs> and if that's the choice you two ended up on. They decided to inherit the... Uh, that. Speaking of choices... The UK model. You've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're going to do yet? Stick around? Move back? Honestly, no. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. No, I just so wish things Those were ducks in the background sound like, sounds like they're having sex. You know what I found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. True, but you could also regret them. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that, that out true, for the though. rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. But how do I live your life? How do you live your life then? Do you have a bit too much vino? No. Uh, that's uncharacteristically deep. <laughs> but how do you live your life then? Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after, and whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy, and there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? We do play, we do, on a lot of choices, very often we play the safe, the safe route. Thanks, Maureen. We, we Thanks, rarely sense. take any risks. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything, Julie No More. I will miss you. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Oh, Monday morning. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday. I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. So your Angels will win this time, and betting against the pattern pays off. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking off. I'll leave town. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Ah, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Back to my home, my job, my life in the big city. I'm going on a road trip. Well. Actually, I'm, uh... A van? So you're staying in the delivery business? No, wait. That's an RV. Yep. I'm getting on it, and I'm not sure where I'll stop. So, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Frank. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna miss you, Frank. Thanks for everything. Try to stay out of trouble, okay? Don't worry, Meredith. I'll be fine. Thanks for everything. Take care and drive safe. Will I meet my love interest? Here she is. The raccoon in all of her glory. Do you like her? I love her, Lori. She's amazing. I love her, Lori. She's amazing. Yay! 
Hey, Meredith, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. <laughs> Me too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course, I have to check on my favorite engineer. Of course, I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. I don't know why that was an option, but okay. See you around. Guess who? Is it the person who makes the same annoying joke twice in a row? It's me, Angie Eastman! You know, I thought it'd be easier to guess the second time around. So, this is the RV, huh? May not look that much, but she's got it where it counts. Amazing, isn't it? It's perfect. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? I would really, seriously, definitely like you to go with me. Wow! You've got me speechless! Again! <laughs> I just need someone to feed the VCR. I've grown quite fond of you. I've grown quite fond of you, Angie. Hadn't you noticed? And here I was wondering if it was just my imagination. The feeling's mutual, babe. So, you probably have to go pack, right? Well... There it is. It's not much. Just some clothes, some toiletries and trinkets, and seven shoeboxes filled with videotapes. So, yeah, I'm all packed. Wait, you knew I'd ask you to come with me? Wait, you knew I'd ask you to come with me? Well, I had a hunch. Plus, I was prepping to leave P.O. anyway, right? So I just stepped things up a bit. Anyway, give me the keys. I've heard about your driving. What? What have you heard? From who? People talk. <laughs> ha ha. When advertising exec David Howard, parentheses Albert Brooks, is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife Linda, parentheses Monica Johnson, to sell their house and roam the country easy rider style in a Winnebago. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. <laughs> nope. We've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, Ghostbusters. have you seen every single tape in here? Not all of them, but most. Come on! But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoilt virgin eyes. Virgin eyes? What, are you a poet now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Lost in America will unspool before these virgin eyes soon Living enough. in America. Tell me about Stand By Me. It's about four kids from Oregon, right? So I think this is it, though. Pretty sure this is the end of the game. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own KM. It's the first song that actually sounds like it's the 80s. And that's it. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this really sounds like the 80s. Unlike any other song that played in this game. This sucks. Like, it's a great song. Why didn't they couldn't play something better during the game? Yeah, 
Yeah, so the game, uh, the game was uh, repetitive, to say the least. Um, and that you get, you get copyrighted on, uh, on YouTube with the four songs that play, oh, which is like, whatever. I kind of expected it. I think, I think you can actually, up, like contest and they'll take it off because it's fair play. Yeah. I think there's, I, I forget if it's leak. I think there was a disclaimer at the beginning that if you play the music, you can, uh, like it's not copyright or anything and if it's taken down or whatever but in any case whatever um yeah the game was i guess so i had played like i just played deus ex mankind divided and i wanted something to chillax now technically this game should have probably taken me six hours it took me a bit longer than that but it's not even an interactive movie it's kind of like a little bit more than an interactive movie but you're doing the same thing over and over and over again with a few cutscenes here and there to kind of sew the story together but it's not like and i know like i read reviews for this game and they were like all praising like the fact that you know it was lgbtq plus whatever a friendly game, yada yada yada. Okay, I guess which is fine, but the game itself is—I mean, you're delivering mail, <laughs> you're delivering mail in packages, where ninety percent of the packages you ring the doorbell and nobody's home, and the mail is just like you're deliver delivering mail. Like there's nothing to it. There's things in the game also which is weird. Yes, it's an indie game, so you can give it a pass, but like. The fast travel was weird. Sometimes you can fast travel directly to a location. And sometimes you have to... The, the fast travel is kind of like... Okay, you can ride from here. Like auto, like cruise control. Which makes... Little sense. So, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of the road of this game. Like, I did like the video store a lot. Because it was weird. Because the, the, the video store had mock covers of the original movies like instead of back to the future it was back back to the present <laughs> yeah apparently yes exactly i was on the line um so they had like games like instead of the terminator it was the thermometer instead of like you know the godfather it was like you know some other but when they talk about movies it's the real Yo, oh, yeah, 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 it's the thermometer, I, I, you weren't there for that, let me see if I can go back to it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can go back to the video store. It was it was probably the best part of the game. I stayed there for a good like 15 20 minutes just looking at all the videos. Some of them repeat for sure, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, guys. It should not take that long to load a fucking game on the Series X. Like, it's so stupid. Why the fuck? Why the hell? Like, why can't you just fast travel directly to the place? And you can't turn off. Oh, now you can't turn it off. No, you can't turn it off anymore. At one point, I couldn't turn off the radio. That's why they, the, the music played the whole time. Or else I would have removed it. I don't think I saved directly at the video store, so I don't really know.
So, the movies that you have outside are Ghost Smashers, or Ghost Slashers, instead of Ghostbusters. The Kung Fu Kid, instead of the Karate Kid. With, uh, you know, actors that look similar. Back to the Present, instead of Back to the Future. And you can't see it here, but the uh, protagonist is, uh, is a female. It's a girl. It's not Marty McFly. Then you have the maze, which is the mock of the uh, the labyrinth. Look who's here to save us all. The tagline is even better. Where is? Oh, by the way, VHS Betamax. Although in 1986, I'm pretty sure VHS VHS had won. Betamax lost like in 1980 or something. Although, pro uh, you can't go in. Oh, that fucking sucks. Oh, I can't go in. There's a there's a few movies inside that you can like other movies that that have like different names. Like instead of 16 candles, it's something else. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, I was going to say who would still be carrying Betamax? Well, technically speaking, in that particular war, if I remember correctly, VHS was actually better than Betamax. I think my uncle used to have a Betamax, but we didn't—we never had any tapes to play anything, so it was kind of useless. But huh. oh, that sucks. I would have to find a save where I was actually able to go inside. So yeah, other than that particular part, um, the rest of the game is kind of like, kind of generic. Um, I kind of enjoyed it. It was okay. It was okay for what it was, but it wasn't like, it didn't blow me away or anything. The storytelling could have been done a little bit more. It could have been less monotonous or they could have added a little bit more variety. Like, yeah, I'm delivering packages, but maybe add a couple more stories in between. It was just like so bland. I was like, yeah, okay. After the first or second day, you're kind of like, okay. It took me about two in-game days to get used to, like, the controls and where to find everything. Um, and also get the how to, to understand how the fast travel works, because that was bonkers beyond belief. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's it. And, um, yeah, that's where we're going to call it quits for tonight. Thanks, Kenny, for passing by. I really, really appreciate it. You are awesome, sir. Um, and next on the... I'm debating either between unpacking or try and find another game. Um, I think the one I was looking at is... Uh, Two Point Campus is one. It wasn't this one. Uh, did he remove it? It was, it's the one that's like the, uh, uh, as dusk falls. I was looking at playing this one, but we'll see. We'll take it by year and we'll, 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 we'll see. All right, guys. Thank you so much for passing by. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can stream tomorrow night. Um, and maybe I'll do a retro stream. Maybe I'm going to do, um, I don't know, maybe I'll play Quake or some retro kind of game, a retro shoot 'em up or something in honor of Kenny, uh, playing the shoot 'em ups. Um, I saw, I think, was it EI? He was playing 1941. I was like, I haven't played that one in so long. I was like, yeah, that's, uh. 19, the thing about those games, 1942 and 1943, 1942 I found was easier. 1943 was just like impossible to fucking finish. Okay, then it was Zaki. I forget if it was EI or not. Because um, I follow all of you guys and you show up on my, uh, you show up on my, sh <laughs> my, uh, my follow list and I, I was just I, I clicked on one and I, some, one of them was playing 1941 so 
Yeah, it's freaking it's it's stupid. Unless you have cheats for it, it's impossible to fucking play. It gives you fucking seizures. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can't do this. All right, guys, have a good one. I'm starting to get tired, as you can see with the yawning. And I shall see you next time. Kenny, I can't wait to see you uh, on your Quake streams again. Better Quake than never. And uh, hope uh, and I'll probably pop up on your stream tomorrow. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, have a good one. Ciao.